In this video, I'm going to show you how you could put any image inside any shape. We get a lot of requests about our channel arts and people want to know how I put this image inside of this shape. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that from scratch. Let me go ahead and create a new document so you could see how it's done from scratch. I'll just pick this size and I'm going to go ahead and first create a shape. So you could pick any shape here from the shapes that are here, or you could put a custom shape. I'll choose a custom shape and you could come up here and change that to be anything that you want it to be. So here, I'll just pick this custom shape and I'll go ahead and drag. And if I press shift, it's gonna just restrict my movements. And if I don't, I can make it any shape I want, any aspect ratio here. And then I'll let go and it created that shape for me. Again, it's gonna create a shape based on the color that you have selected here in the foreground. And mine was white. So if it was red and I made a shape, it's gonna make it a red one. So I'm just gonna command Z to undo that one. And now I have a layer, now I need an image. So I'll go ahead and I'll bring one of my images in that I have here. And I'll just pick this image, open with Photoshop. And let me just drag this down and drag this image to this Photoshop document. And if I press Command T or Control T on a PC, I could just go ahead and reshape. I'm holding Shift again, so I'm restricting my movement and I'll place it right there and I'm gonna press OK. So now I have an image and I have a shape and my background's transparent. So let me show you how you could put this image inside of the shape behind it. Make sure the order is exactly like this. Shape first, layer right on top, okay? Now all you have to do is go to layer and press clip layer mask. Just like that, your image is inside of that shape. Now I could resize it if I want to. Again, I press Command T here. Or you could go to edit and transform and you'll see all these different options. But again, if I just press Command T on a Mac here, I could reshape this picture to fit this shape better. So if I reshape it like this, make it a little bit longer or shorter. And now I could do any effect to this image just like I would with an image outside of a shape. So if I double click it, I could put a gradient over it. I could put a pattern over it. Anything that I could do with a regular image, I could do to it. I could go to image adjustment and I could change it like any image, brightness, contrast, make it more contrasty, less contrasty. I'm gonna turn these layers off and show you how you do that with a standard shape. I'll make a layer again and I'll just create a standard shape here, ellipse. I'll just go ahead and drag. And then again, we want a picture. So I'll go ahead and bring in a picture and let me drag this picture onto my other project with a shape. And now I wanna put this inside the shape under, make sure the image is on top, make sure the layer is selected, go to layer, clip, mask right there and it's gonna put it right in there for me again. I could go ahead and resize it. And you could also make changes to that shape. So if I wanna stroke around that shape, I could put a stroke around that shape. You could again export this just like any other image and save it with the transparency so you don't get the white. So I'm gonna select PNG so I get a transparent image to put on top of videos or anywhere else you like. I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video if you find it helpful because I'm gonna continue to post a lot of Photoshop tutorials, a lot of tech related videos and really complete how-to videos. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you on the next video.